Jesus. Melvin and Dina were wonderful people. They were angels. They were good to the community. They were good to their family. And, and, and would give anybody a job if, if they were looking for work. I mean, pillars of the community. The kind of people you're glad to say, I know them. I'm related to them. That's my neighbor. This was my last time. But he was always close to me when he was a little boy. And as he grew up, he always <coughs> said he would take care of me. And he did until he died. But I said, it's, it's just pitiful. If you did it, was it worth it? Melvin and Dina was a beautiful couple. They, had, they would help anybody and they're gonna be missed. It makes no sense that someone would come into their home where they're supposed to have peace and quality of life. They took that away from them, from material things. They would have gave them whatever they asked for. There was no sense of them murdering two young people who were vibrant, would do anything for anybody. We had lived in that neighborhood for over 37 years. I know someone knows who did this. Melvin was my brother. He was my favorite. He was my key person. He was my strength. He was my everything. Then he brought Dina into my life and she was a sister to me. And she was a great sister. For someone to come into their home and do this to them and walk over them while they're dead to take their things, things that they would have gave to any of us or any of them. My brother gave people things that were on the street. He did things for people that didn't deserve it. He probably did something to you, the person who murdered him. I'm quite sure he did something for you. Somebody, please, I know it's a sister out there or a mother out there or a grandchild out there that if this happened to you, you would want somebody to speak up. Crime Stoppers of Michigan is offering a cash reward of up to $2,500 for information that leads to an arrest.